Hi friends, it's Raina, and today we're going to be learning about some butterflies. Did you guys get caterpillars at your house? That's so cool. Did you know caterpillars are like baby butterflies? So we're going to make some really beautiful butterflies today, and all you need is some markers. You can use the fat ones or skinny ones. A water bottle, a spray bottle, I mean, so you can spray it. And you can use either a paper towel, and it doesn't have to be a big one, it could be a small one, or a coffee filter works really well also. So all you need to do for this project is get out your favorite colors, and I have purple, one of my favorites, Yellow, one of my favorites, and I'm sure you know, pink. One more, where's my blue? Blue is one of my favorites, but I can't find it. So we're gonna use these yellow, pink, and purple, but use whatever ones you like. Green, I love green. So you're just gonna start by drawing some really nice lines on your paper, so. You can make them however you want. Try to make some squiggly lines. Big ones, really squiggly. Can you do straight lines? A straight line goes from one side to the other. Just make whatever kinds of designs you like. I'm gonna make some crisscrosses and I'm gonna make some circles. And then I'm gonna make some curly lines and maybe just color it wherever I want to color it. I think my butterfly needs some more colors too. So maybe some green in there. I didn't use green on my other one. So I'm gonna try to color the edges and there we go. So it's all colored up, maybe a little bit more purple here. And you want to hold your marker the right way while you're coloring. So remember, pinch your grip, three fingers. All right, so this is all colored in now. Watch where the magic happens. So I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm just going to spray it with some water. And my colors are going to come together like tie-dye. I don't want to get it too wet because then I won't be able to fold it up. But let it dry. You might want to let it dry for a few minutes or you can fold it up now and this is the way that I did it. So even though it's a little wet, I'm going to pick it up and pinch the middle together. So you have two big butterfly wings. And you can use a piece of yarn to tie it. Or what I used was a little clip. So I'm just gonna clip mine together. And then my butterfly is ready to fly around. So I would wait for it to dry a little bit more before I played with it, but. I hope you guys make some really cool butterflies and I would love to see them. Mwah. See you guys later.